Hi, Clint Coons here with Anderson Business Advisors, and in this video, we're going to discuss tax-free access to your existing IRA. All right, you're probably wondering, did I hear what he just said, that I can access my IRA completely tax-free? Yeah, and I'm not talking about a Roth IRA. I'm talking about your traditional IRA that you have right now. We can show, I'm going to show you how you can gain access to that IRA and not pay any tax. Now, what's the catch? Is it, are we violating any uh, internal revenue code provisions? Am I going to engage in tax evasion? No. The only thing about it is, is that in order to do this strategy, you have to have a business in mind. That is, you can use your funds in your IRA for a specific business. So if you're looking to start a new business, and maybe that business is flipping real estate, Maybe your business is residential assisted living. Your business might be a franchise. It might be a restaurant. If you're looking to fund that business yourself, look no further than your IRA as a source of funding. Now, in order to utilize those funds, you just can't go out there and pull money out of your IRA and start up that business. That would be a taxable event. But there is a way for you to access these funds and move them into your business if you go about it the right way and use the right type of entities. Now, I'm about to show you how that can be done. Now, keep in mind as well, you never want to try this without the assistance of a professional. It kind of sounds like I'm on one of those um, television shows where they're about to do something crazy with a bunch of snakes and they're going to eat uh, worms while there's poisonous snakes around them. Well, we're not going that far down the road, but it's important that you work with a professional who understands it because there are individuals out there who have messed their IRAs up and made them taxable because they didn't follow the proper procedures. So here's what you do. If you want to gain access to your IRA funds, or maybe you have funds right now in a 401k plan that you want to roll out and you want to have tax-free access to those to start a business, here's what's required. First off, you've got to have a business venture. And it's got to be a new business venture. It's got to be new. All right? I gave you some ideas of what might be a business venture, but you've got to have a new business venture. Two, you should put together a business plan. Okay, Just something that describes how you're going to use the funds, what you're going to be using these monies for, uh, talk about uh, potential revenue sources, how you're gonna market your business. You know, put together a small business plan. One of the things we have at Anderson uh, that are available to our platinum clients is that we have sample business plans that they can use and modify in order to help putting this strategy together. So you gotta have a business plan. Number three, you need to create a new C corporation. All right, that's important. You got to create a new corp. So you're going to have to run this business through a C corporation, not a limited liability company, but a C corp. So you got to create a new C corp. Hey, if you like what you're seeing here on my YouTube channel and you want to go deeper and you want to learn more, just to let you know, we teach three-day asset protection workshops all over the country. In these workshops, we go really deep into all these topics and show you how to set this up. And more importantly, we meet with everyone one-on-one -on -one to help them design a plan. This is your opportunity. If you're interested in attending one of our workshops, go right into the show notes now and you can see a link there where you can register for one of my upcoming three-day tax and asset protection workshops for real estate investors. Number four, you have to create a new uh, qualified retirement plan, a QRP. So that's another requirement as well. We have to create a new QRP, which is going to be a holding vehicle in order to put this structure together. So. You get this in place, all right? So remember, this is important. It's got to be new. So if you're already in business, you can't take money out and fund an existing business or set up a new corporation to do the exact same business you're already engaged in. It's got to be a new business. Uh, you got to create a business plan, new C Corp, new QRP. You get those things in place. Now the magic begins. Here's what we do. So you've got your IRA right over here. And let's say it has $375,000 inside of it. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new corporation New Co, which is a C corporation. And that corporation is going to immediately establish a QRP over here. Typically, it's going to be a solo 401k, of which you are going to be the participant. Now, in this corporation here, we have not issued out any shares yet. We just created the corp. You're a director over here. You're an officer over here as well. You're in both positions. But we haven't, made a, we haven't issued out any shares. 
So once the QRP is set up and you got your bank account in the name of the QRP, you will roll the IRA funds into the QRP. So now we get our money over here and now the 375 is sitting right inside of this account. Once that's set up, then we'll come over here and we will issue shares to this QRP in exchange for money. So if I decided that I'm going to issue out um, uh, 100, let's say we're going to do 1,000 shares, 1, shares all right, to the um, QRP, well then if we're going to do 1,000 shares, let's do 37 or 370 shares, uh, excuse me, uh, $370 per share, that would be $370,000 that would be paid over to this uh, to the corporation from the QRP. So the QRP now buys 1,000 uh, shares of the corporation for $370,000. So $375 then is deposited into the corporation's account in exchange for 1,000 shares of that corporation, just like that. Now. I would also suggest you buy some shares as well. So then you'll issue yourself out. Let's say we issue you out, um, uh, say, 10 shares of stock inside of that corporation for $3,700. All right, so those will be paid over to you. So now what we've done is we've set it up so that you're a shareholder, your QRP is a shareholder, each share is worth $370. Now you've got your money inside of the corporation. You'll notice I didn't do all of it because you gotta leave some in the QRP. You can then take those funds to go out and start your new business. So if I had to get a restaurant opened up, I could open up my restaurant. If I wanted to go out and flip real estate, I could go out and buy a piece of property, flip real estate, and then all the funds will flow back into the corporation. And then once they come back in the corporation, I can start pulling the salary off of this, right? So I can take a, a salary out of the corp because I'm an officer, so I can pay myself. If I brought in, let's say I flipped this deal, I made $40,000, maybe I'm gonna pay myself $25,000 in salary. So I can take money out that way. So this gives you access to use your IRA funds going through a QRP into a corp for a new business venture. Now here's what you can't do. You've heard the saying, bulls make money, bears make money, hogs get slaughtered. When that money goes into there, you can't take that money out and say, all right, well, I got 370 in here. I'm gonna loan myself 100K. That will not qualify, you can't do that. Or you know what? I'm gonna take that money and I'm gonna go out and buy myself a new Porsche because Cayenne looks more like it. I'm gonna buy myself a new Cayenne, a company car that I can drive around. Can't do that as well. This has to be, funds have to be used for your business. So what you're doing here is you're buying qualified employer securities, and this is permissible under the Internal Revenue Code. It's permissible under ERISA that you can engage in this type of transaction, but there are some uh, caveats to it that I've just explained to you. As I stated, some people have tried this using their IRA and they've been shot down. The court looked at it and they said, you can't use an IRA in this type of scenario. If you want to do this, you have to follow the steps that I just outlined for you right here. But it is a way for you to gain access to your IRA funds. Only to work with a professional that knows how to set these things up. Um, make sure they you, you go through these steps the proper way, and then you can take those funds and put them in your business. And then when you want to unwind it, what you'll do is figure out the value of your corporation and just redeem the shares back from your QRP. You'll end up buying them back at some point in time and get that money put back inside of there. Great, great way in order to fund a business by using existing funds rather than having to work with an outside party. My name is Clint Kuhns with Anderson Business Advisors. Thank you.